What the chief is saying about these recent incidents. John, I'm outside of the Eugene Police Station, and Chief Chris Skinner tells me one of the officers injured this morning could be out for months. He's commending his officers for their actions, asking people to stop fighting with police. All the men and women in this organization know what they're getting themselves into, but when you think about the incidents that they're responding to on behalf of this community, you wouldn't expect this to happen in such close proximity to each other. What started as a report of a man breaking into cars in the early morning hours of Thursday on the 2900 block of Timberline in South Eugene, police say ended with two officers taken to a local hospital after fighting with a suspect who resisted arrest. Chief Skinner says one of the officers could be out for months after hurting his leg. Police say the suspect in this case, Wesley Reynolds, was also taken to hospital after they believe he swallowed heroin. But I think the officer should be commended for being creative and actually being really, really good about letting their training guide them and using the least amount of force necessary to be able to end the conflict. This incident comes just days after three police officers were injured on Sunday after police say they responded to a drunken fight on Avalon Street, where suspects also resisted. While Skinner says he feels lucky that his officers have avoided critical injuries in these cases, he says along with the officer that could be out for months, some of the others who were injured are on light duty, putting a strain on his department, which he says is already understaffed. The rest of these officers pick up the slack. We have to fill it with overtime, backfill it with overtime, and so it just puts a strain on the entire system. And